Uwe ye go kwa no. Uwa salaru we siye ye go. Hi guys. Thank you for clicking to watch. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I made this delicious pot of okwa, aka breadfruit. If you do not know this meal, then you definitely have to watch this video. Okwa is not only just nutritious and delicious, but it is a very palatable dish predominant to the eastern part of Nigeria. To see how I made this delicious pot of okwa, please keep watching. So guys, these are the ingredients I'm going to be using to make this okwa. Here we have our vegetable palm kernel oil, I mean to say. We have our palm kernel oil or red oil. We have stock cube, salt. This is called ugidibu. I've been using it, see that it has gone down a lot. So this is called ugidibu. It's a native spice. I'll be using it to make this meal. I'm going to be using one dry cut fish. This is bitter leaf. I just took a little from the stock I have. If you're going to be buying bitter leaf from the ones that is washed in public, an advice I would give is to always put the bitter leaf in hot boiling water and allow it to boil for like 10-15 minutes. This does not only help to remove extra bitterness from the bitter leaf, it also helps to remove um, sand particles if there are some in the bitter leaf because most times when they wash it in the public, sometimes it has sand particles. So by the time you boil it in a lot of water for some time, the sand will collect at the bottom of your pot and the bitter leaf extra bitterness will go off. So yeah, that is how I do that. Then this is the start of this my meal, okwa. <laughs> so I'm going to be cooking all of it. I may or may not finish it. I don't trust myself. So I'm going to be making all of it. I'll be taking a little bit of fresh pepper. I love fresh pepper. I prefer it to dry one. So I'll be using that. And then I'll be needing help from my friend here. This, I stored it in this container, but that is not what I'm using. This is edible potash. I'll just be taking some spoons and be using it when I'm cooking. You guys will see how I use it. Um, this one is the type that you get from burning um, palm fronts. So, yep, these are the things I'm going to be using to make my food. So, let's get cooking. So, guys, because this okra that I am making is the dried one, so the seeds are dried. They dry it so that they will be able to preserve it. I'm not sure if I should make up. Make up. I'll store it in the fridge if I don't finish it. So because it's the dried one, I'll be soaking it with hot water for about an hour or two. Just so it will reduce my cooking time for me. I would have soaked it overnight. I don't know, I was just too tired yesterday. So I'm going to soak it for an hour. It will help reduce the cooking time. If it's fresh okra, I would have just started cooking it directly without soaking it. But because um, I still have a couple of things I need to do anyway, instead of just putting it on the fire and burning my gas. So I would allow this to soak for a while while I wash the fish and do other things that I need to do. For me to wash the fish, I'll be using hot water and salt. I'll first of all soak the fish with hot water for about a minute. This is to kill all these um, bugs that live in the fish. I'll see if I can sh show you guys when they come out from the fish. So that is the bug I'm talking about. I'll drain the water from that plate, put ordinary room temperature water and then a little bit of salt and I'll wash my fish thoroughly.
If this is your first time on my channel, you are highly welcome. My name is Choma Onya. I make YouTube videos from Lagos, Nigeria. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button by the right of your screen. Thank you. So after washing the fish, I go ahead and rinse it thoroughly and then proceed to my cooking proper. This is the okwa after being soaked in hot water for about an hour. The seeds are not as strong as they used to be before I soaked it. You can see that the level of water that I added have reduced drastically because the okwa absorbed a lot of it. So I'm just going to transfer the okwa from the plate into my cooking pot. My okwa sitting pretty in the pot. So I will cover and allow to boil on medium heat for about 50 minutes or so. I always try to avoid cooking with edible potash but after about 15 minutes of boiling my breadfruit the seed is still kind of strong so I'll add a little bit of extra water and I will get help from my friend Ngo that is edible potash <laughs> So I measure just about one spoon of um, ngo, that is edible potash. I like calling the Igbo name, I don't know why. Um, I've added my ngo and then my dry fish. You know the fish needs some good cooking time. So I'll add that to the pot and then I'll add a little bit of salt. Then we will cover our pot and allow it to cook for extra 20-25 minutes. Coming back after 25 minutes, this is what my pot looks like. Of course, I will need to add extra water. At this point, I will have to be careful about the quantity of water I add. I don't want my okwa to be dry, but I don't want it um, flooded. So my ogilibo just entered my pot and the aroma in my kitchen just changed. <laughs> and then we'll add some pepper, some um, red oil, and one stock cube. I don't like making okwa with um, a lot of seasoning cube because you know it's a native dish. And even though I am Indomie generation baby, <laughs> I try to stay as local as possible. So I'm going to cover the pot now and allow it to cook for extra 10 minutes. Can you see that sizzling? My okwa is soft. Food is almost ready. Hmm. You have to be in my kitchen to know what my nose is passing through right now. At this point, I finished eating this food with my nose. <laughs> so
so i just tested for salt i'll add a little more salt because it needs a little bit of salt i will then add my bitter leaf and give it just maybe five minutes okwa takes a lot of time to cook this took exceptionally longer because the okwa was dried as it was being preserved Fresh okwa takes a while to cook too, but this took longer. So, extra 5 minutes and food is almost done. I can't wait to eat. My food is ready. Oh, look at that. Delicious, nutritious, sumptuous meal. Get your plate though. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button by the right of your screen. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. You can't see this delicious food and not like this video. Be cool. Like here, yeah, this video, the thumbs up button is by the left of the screen. Let us eat food. Look at that look at that i just want to take few seconds to admire this beautiful looking plate you guys i'm being honest i've not had this meal for over a year now and i've missed it so much so i'm going to devour this meal no apologies at all of course if you are interested come over the pot is plenty eh, come with your spoon you don't even need to bring plates Mm. Oh yeah, I never go no more. Let me go and eat though. I'm gonna subscribe, like this video. Bye. See you soon.